This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for April 19, 2023. And in the news this evening, businessman shot in St. Catherine attempted robbery. A businessman was this afternoon shot by a gunman in Berkshire Hall District, Redwood, St. Catherine, during an attempted robbery. It is reported that about 12.40 p.m., the businessman met with a man who ordered building material from his business. The man reportedly excused himself to go for the money to pay for the delivery. It is further reported that two men with guns emerged from nearby bushes and demanded that the businessman hand over his truck and the items. A struggle reportedly ensued between him and one of the gunmen. It is reported that his accomplice fired several shots which hit the businessman. The hoodlums then escaped. The injured businessman was taken to the Linsett Hospital for treatment. The Linsett police are investigating. Man attempting to rob a supermarket shot by soldier. A man who attempted to rob a supermarket in downtown Montego Bay, St. James, on Tuesday night was shot by an off-duty Jamaica Defense Force soldier and remains in hospital on the police guard. It is reported that about 8.40 p.m., the man went to Tiger Supermarket along St. James Street and held the operators at gunpoint. He was challenged by the soldier. During an exchange of gunfire, the man was shot. The scene was visited by the police, who seized an illegal firearm. The injured man was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he was admitted on the police guard. Four men listed as wanted by St. Andrew North Police The St. Andrew North Police have listed four men as wanted for several crimes committed across the division. They are Jermyn Smith, otherwise called a cartel or Gaza man, a landscaper of Lime Edge District, and the Golden Spring District in St. Andrew. Smith is wanted for murder. Kemar Graham of Arthur Leon Drive, Golden Spring, Boom Hall District, St. Andrew. Graham is wanted for murder. Andre Davis, otherwise called Stunny, of Red Hills Road and Cassava Peace in St. Andrew. Davis is wanted for murder. Curtis Cross, otherwise called Leyden, of Windsor Heights in St. Catherine and Waltham Park Road in St. Andrew. Cross is wanted for murder. The men are being asked to turn themselves in and anyone with information on their whereabouts is being asked to come forward. The police are also reminding that it is a crime to harbor a fugitive. Man charged for 2019 double murder Detectives assigned to the Major Investigations Division arrested and charged a man who was wanted for the murder of two men and the injury of another in an incident which occurred in Walton Park, Kingston in 2019. Ramon Rose, 27, of Victoria Street in Falmouth, Trelawney, was charged on Tuesday for the murders of 18-year-old Tyrese Lamy, otherwise called a Toggy, and the Shane McLawrence, otherwise called a Joppel, which occurred at the 75 and 77 Lane, Waltham Park in Kingston. Rose has been charged with two counts of murder, wounding with intent, possession of illegal firearm and ammunition. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m. on December 16, 2019, the deceased were among a group of men on a section of the roadway when armed men opened the fire hitting three of them. The police were summoned and the injured men taken to the hospital where Lamy and McLaurin were pronounced dead. The other man was admitted for treatment. Rose was charged following a question and answer session and an identification parade on Tuesday where he was pointed out by a witness. His court date is being finalized. Men caught on camera breaking into Manchester business charged. Six men were arrested and charged with shop breaking and larceny after they were caught on surveillance camera breaking into a business establishment in Christiana, Manchester on Friday, April 14. Charged are 26 year old Corey Simpson, otherwise called a tall man, a farmer of New Green District in Manchester. 35 year old Kiwin Foster, otherwise called a sauce of Kiora Avenue, George's Valley in Manchester. 37-year-old Elvis McIntosh, otherwise called Curtis, a painter of Amden Land in Trelawney. 32-year-old Odin Forbes, a construction worker of Newtown in Black River, St. Elizabeth. 27-year-old Romaine Smith, otherwise called the Brown Man, a taxi operator of Scott Town District in Manchester. 
and the 50-year-old Hugh Foster of Colleyville in Manchester. Reports from the Christian police are that the owner of the business establishment securely locked her business and left. Later that day, she viewed the security cameras and saw several men breaking into the place. The police were called and the men were seen in a Toyota Suicide motor car fleeing the scene. They were intercepted, taken into custody, and subsequently charged. Their court date is being finalized. Lack of quorum delays the start of parliament. The House of Representatives suspended its sitting a short while ago as there was no quorum to start the business of the House. A quorum consists of 16 members of the House. Leader of Government Business in the House, Edmund Bartlett, requested that the House be suspended to allow for a quorum to be formed. Before the House was suspended, only six members of Parliament, one on the opposition benches and the five on the government side were present. The Speaker suspended the sitting to facilitate the House leader's request. There was eventually a quorum and the sitting proceeded. 21-year-old man leads a Clarendon's most wanted. A 21-year-old man leads the list of Clarendon's most wanted criminals. Commanding Officer for Clarendon Acting Senior Superintendent Carlos Russell today disclosed that Romain John Murray, alias John Tom, of Comfort District in Osborne Store, is wanted for several homicides, including the March murder of Manchester businessman Jerome Bassier, who was shot dead in Tollgate. Murray is also wanted for wounding with intent. Speaking at a press conference hosted at the Maypen police station, Russell told the reporters that Murray's capture could solve some eight murders across the parish. The other wanted men are 26-year-old Penif Bromfield, also known as Chang of Buzz Rock in Effortville, who is wanted for shooting with intent and robbery with aggravation. Bromfield is also wanted for shooting and injuring a police sergeant. Jabulani Dyer, otherwise called Jabu, of Woodhall District in Chapleton, who is wanted for wounding with intent. Steve Leonard Francis Forty of Sunset Crescent in Four Parts, who is wanted for murder and assault occasion in grievous bodily harm. Orkney Murray of Nine Turns, who is wanted for wounding with intent. These men are considered to be armed and dangerous, and we are asking anyone who knows the whereabouts of these individuals to contact us. We are also warning persons that it is an offense to harbor a fugitive, said Russell. Wolf was a great jurist and a distinguished public servant, says Holness. Prime Minister Andrew Holness today remembered the former Chief Justice of Jamaica, Lensley Wolf, as a great jurist and a distinguished public servant. Justice Wolf passed away last evening. He was 85. A past student of St. Jacob High School, his legal career spanned five decades, having been called to the bar at a Lincoln's Inn in 1967. Justice Wolf served as the Chief Justice from 1996 to 2007, and the Prime Minister Holness recalled that during his tenure, he made significant contributions to the development of the country's legal system. The Prime Minister described the former Chief Justice as a beacon of hope and an inspiration for those who sought to uphold the rule of law and to promote the common good. He said Justice Wolf will always be remembered for his outstanding contributions to the legal profession and his unwavering commitment to fairness and equality. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.